Hi, in this video, I want to show you how you can backup your PDF Butter configuration. I'm going to go to my quote doc config and open up the uh, quotes in the configuration page. From here, I can uh, open the doc config data and check the checkbox allow migration. With this checkbox, there will be an extra button that you can say export the quote doc config as zip file. So if I click this, then my entire configuration with all of my documents and alternatives, my data sources and the config types have been backed up in this zip file over here. Okay, that's step one. The second step, uh, you can also make changes in the configuration in a PDF Butler. For instance, data sources, maybe you're going to change data sources, remove them, add fields. Then here you can just go to the config migration. I'm going to get all of my doc configs, find my quote. I have a lot of quotes, find my quote doc config, check that quote doc config and click the export doc config. Same here, now it will export the doc config and in this case I have two files and these two files they will represent my entire configuration for my quote. So, in my file system, I now have in a specific directory that I chose uh, to backup of today, I have my zip file with all of my configuration and my uh, Word documents, and I have the Salesforce configuration with my data sources and my actionables if uh, these are present. Okay, so next up, I can make changes in my configuration. Let's say that I want to uh, delete this table row. Oops, that was a mistake. I didn't want to do that. And I also want to delete maybe these uh, product fishes here. All of that was a mistake, but I still saved my configuration. Now that configuration is lost. So uh, you can, of course, uh, uh, rebuild that completely from scratch. But here we can just, of course, go and import the zip file uh, from the configuration. So I click the import button. I'm going to uh, drag and drop, in this case, my zip file on this uh, choose files. You can also click the button and then go to the uh, location where you want to upload it. So uh, the stage is going to be test, so that's fine. And then I click the OK button. Now it has restored my configuration, as you can see. Everything is still there. Uh, everything is there again. And I can do the same in Salesforce. I can go to the import here. I can say upload file. In the upload file, I check my uh, my JSON file here with the export from Salesforce and then select the import doc config. Everything is now restored. So what I did first is do a backup of step one, the uh, uh, PDF butter configuration in the config page. Step two, do a backup of the uh, PDF Butter configuration in uh, the uh, PDF Butter admin in Salesforce, and then I can restore both if required.